So we have the treasure map, and then with Watson and Crick, we have the treasure hunters. Yes, that's a very good way of putting it. Yeah, they they read this book, and they're like, this is a treasure that Let's I want to find. In 1944, you've got Erwin Schrodinger's book called What is Life? Mm -hmm. This is one of my favorite books of all time. Okay. It's on the FFP reader bestseller. 100%. Okay. It's, it's a very short book. You can read it in about two hours. Honestly, oh, yeah. it's yeah. very short. It's just a bunch of lectures that he gave at the Dublin College in Ireland. But it is one of my favorite books of all time because it really shows how a physicist would approach this problem. Okay. He really starts thinking about how hereditary material must be something that is solid. Yeah. It must be something that can resist temperature fluctuations. And it must also be non-repetitive. What does okay. that mean? Yeah. If it's repetitive, you can't store a lot of information there. Uh, I, uh, it's got to store a bunch of information, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. right? A recipe book is not repetitive. Yeah, right, right. Every, right? every page or every couple pages is a different. Is different, is a different recipe for all of the different things that I need in life, mm -hmm. right? That's a fundamental thing that you can even think about for a bit and be like, yeah, of course. Okay, that makes sense. Whatever the thing that is giving you the information for inheritance is something that encodes a bunch of information, like a recipe book, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So it's a postulate that he, that he puts, Erwin Schrodinger. He says the gene is an aperiodic crystal. What does he mean by that? You can have salt, which is... Sodium chloride, sodium chloride, sodium chloride. Not a lot of information there. There's right. like two bits of information, right. which is you put the sodium here and the chlorine here, and then you repeat. An aperiodic crystal is somewhere where the atomic arrangements are different, mm -hmm. right? The idea here is that someone basically said there's a, it's a treasure map. Yeah, there's a treasure map, and this is what it looks like. And, right, and this is this aperiodic crystal concept. Yeah. With a hereditary code script, which makes you can intuit that logic. Yeah, you can, you can, you can, from first principles, principles you, can you can build it up and be like, okay, something that requires information capacity right. needs to be aperiodic. It right. needs to not be the same everywhere. And the order of those bits is what matters. Is what matters. Right? You can't just be 0101010101. Zero, one, zero, yeah. one, zero, one, right. zero, one. Right. It's got to be a different. And that sequence is what tells you what the information is. Because DNA ultimately runs a variety of biological processes. And so, like, what are the, how are the, how are the instructions stored? Stored. Mm -hmm. And you need a lot, you need basically a system of enough different component parts or variables to store that complexity. Yeah. 